Rocha. Eu fiquei obrigado pela paciência. Né? God is really great. Alam nyo, as uh, you ponder the word of God, ma magtataka ka. Do I need to speak English? Okay, lahat Amerikano sa Tagalog tayo. Magtataka ka sa kabutihan ng Panginoon, even the power of God to to sustain each and every one of us. You know, God is worthy of your praises. God is worthy of our thanksgiving. Sa araw-araw ng ating buhay, no, kulang yung pasasalamat natin, actually. If you try to um, see ourselves sa henerasyon ngayon, and try to assess yourself, makikita mo na yung sarili mo are more time sa Facebook, no? sa lahat ng bagay, because technology. At yun ang ginagawa ng, na, ng kaaway sa atin, to divert our focus, to divert our attention to such things, para malayo ka. Yun ang sabi nga, the prince of this world is Satan. Kaya gagawin niya ang lahat for us to be apart from the very word of God. Kaya, pag uh, binubuloy-bulay mo, tinitingnan mo yung sarili mo, are we giving the best to God? Are we giving the 100% of our worship to God? Yan ang laging katanungan. You know, when I read yung Psalms ni David, <laughs> matindi nga nangitig sa likod. <laughs> so when I read the book of Psalms ni David, makikita mo how he survived no, in his difficult times. Makikita natin sa kanyang buhay. There were times na kahit gano'n siya kabuti, no, he supported soul sa mga um, battle nila. And yet in the end, siya pa yung inahabol ni soul. No, gustong patayin because of envy. Naranasan niya magtago. Hindi siya nag-retaliate. Never say anything. No? All that he does ay pupunta lang siya sa, sa cave and then he waited for the very word of God kung ano sasabihin ng Diyos sa kanya then he will move on and carry on but nakita natin after the fall nakita mo yung energy to worship God and to live righteously in the sight of God at pinag-aralan ko ito Panginoon in these last days how can we survive kasi pag, ano, pag tinitingnan natin ang buhay we're no difference sa mga unbelievers They're using Facebook all the time. They're using it 12 hours, no? 24 hours sometimes. At makikita mo yung mga Kristiyano ay hindi nakakapagbasa ng salita ng Panginoon because they are so engaged in such mga technologies. Technologies are so good. Walang problema doon. Doon ka makakuha ng maraming bagay at you can, uh, i-ano mo, ignite new spiritual life mo. But to the point na nawawala ka ng time sa Panginoon at pag in up mo, mas marami ka pang time sa mundo doon bumabagsak ang isang kristyano. And right now, pag-usapan po natin ang buhay ni David. Sabi dyan, I choose to walk in the way of praise. Ang ganda. Because in this principle na kanyang ginawa in the, books of, in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, ito yung time na tumakas siya kay Saul. And after that, napunta po siya sa lands of Gath na kung saan ang anak ni Samson ay nagre-reign yun as king. At sabi ng, ng alalay ni, ng anak ni Samson, di ba si David yan yung kinakanta doon na 10,000 ang kanyang pinapatay? 1,000 lang kay, kay Saul? Ang ginawa ni David sa kanyang takot, nagbaliw-baliwan siya. Di ba? Doon sa gate, sa gate ng, ng kaharian, pinapatulo niya yung kanyang laway no? at nag-astas yung baliw para hindi siya patayin nung king na yun. Ngunit sa kanyang buhay, he proved that during yung time na siya lang mag-isa, he proved that praise can help so much. At i-reveal na, 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 na kanyang psalms sa mga oras na ito, how we can achieve a successful life through that praise na ginamit po ni David. Taken from the book of Psalm um, 34, Verses 1 and 7, sabi po dyan, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. 
I soothed the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to Him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers them. Ito yon, yung time na nagbabalibaliwan si David. Sa isang cave doon sa mountain, no, malapit lang doon sa karihan ng anak ni Samson, doon siya nagsulat ng kanyang Psalms, and he wrote this for uh, the Lord. David wrote the book of Psalms 34, when he pretended to be insane, kita natin dyan, the day David fled from Saul and went to Akish, king of Gath. Si Abimelech, no, baka mabasa nyo dyan, Abimelech. Si Abimelech ay si Akish. Siya yung son of Samson. So, wag po kayong ma-confuse. If you read that in the book of Psalms, ang ginagamit nila ay Abimelech, siya rin po yung si Akish. Siya yung anak ni Samson. Okay. In his distress, David wrote the book of Psalms 34 and pretended to be insane in front of King Akish. Sabi dyan, David took these words to heart. No, nang sinabi, di ba yan ang soldier ni Saul na kinakantahan ng mga babae na 10,000 ang kanyang napatay. So, nung narinig niya na tinuturo siya ng alalay ni, ni King Akish, nagbalubaluhan na si David para hindi po siya patay. So sabi niya, just we pretended to be insane in the presence, and while he was in their hands, he acted like madman, making marks on the doors of the gates and letting saliva run down his fur. Wala pong nakaranas nito. Na in your trouble times in your life, ay talagang nagbalubaluhan na kayo sa harapan ng maraming tao. Amen? Pero pag pinag-aralan mo ang kanilang buhay, no, the Bible said they are great men of God. But yung mga buhay nila beforehand to be a great man, makikita natin, talagang makita mong meron din pong ano sa kanilang pagkatakot sa kanilang puso. And the same matter sa atin. Even you wake up in the morning sometimes, maiisip mo, sobrang taas na mga bilihin sa Singapore. No? The next year will be matataas yung tuition fees ng mga bata. And uh, maiisip mo, how can we survive in Singapore? Kung ang tumataas lamang ay bilihin at hindi ang ating mga salary. But God has a promise para sa atin in this book of Psalms. Kahit kasi naranasan ni David at ginamit ni David sa kanyang buhay. Sabi dyan, we must choose whether we walk the path of praise or just continue to follow the avenue of average. No? Kailangan tayo, tayo yung makitaan ng mga anak ng Diyos na nagpupuri. Hindi ka makitaan na ikakatisuran ka ng iba na hindi ka nagpupuri sa Diyos na buhay. Because all throughout ng ating buhay, makikita natin, siya yung nagbigay sa atin ng oxygen, siya yung gumawa ng skeletal system natin, and He formed us into His own image and likeness. And He is worthy of such praise and such worship. So, sabi dyan, nasa sa iyo. If you continue to be an average kind of Christian na pag pumunta ka rito, you just hindi ka magpupuri or just sit down and then move on na labas. But consider carefully for the path of praise leads to bigger and better things that tower high above those who are satisfied on the streets of status quo. Ang mga nagpupuri sa Diyos, no, ay masasabi ko, they are the stronger Christian rather than so sa hindi mga nagpupuri. They are a kind of Christian that can balance life. Hindi sila masyado makikita mo even their emotions are all, always covered by the word of God bago sila magsalita. They are a kind of Christian that can sustain no, until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because knowing for the fact that they worship God every Sunday sa kanilang puso, sa kanilang isipan at buong pagkatao. So it's our choice, it's our decision whether we worship God or okay, okay lang tayo dun sa ating buhay sa ngayon. How should we praise God? We should praise God personally. Ang pagpupuri sa Diyos ay dapat personal. Sabi niya dyan, nobody can praise God for you. Diba? Ang, ang buhay natin, hindi dahil ako ay pastor, ang anak ko ay ligtas. Hindi po pwede yun. Sa ating Panginoon, you must receive Christ as your own and personal Savior because salvation is personal as well as praise is personal. I cannot do praise for you. 
Sasabihin ko sa Lord, Lord, dalawa kami ni Mrs. Hallelujah. I give you praise, I give you honor. Panginoon, kung pamilya namin, I give you praise. Hindi. No? Ang aking asawa, she must do her part. Ang aking mga anak, they must do their part. Magkaiba-iba ang, 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 ang ating pagpupuri sa ating Panginoon. Sabi dyan, today, saying we praise God in the church today, if you didn't praise Him, huwag mo raw sabihin, pinupuri mo ang Diyos sa simbahan kung hindi mo naman talaga ginawa. No, kasi nung ngaling, kasi nung ngalingan ang mga bagay na yun. God doesn't look at us, no, as a congregation, but God look us at us as individual. Tinitingnan tayo ng Diyos individually. Hindi kung malakas ang katahan, okay ng Panginoon, no. Kumanta ka ba o hindi? Tumaas ka ba ng kamay mo o hindi? Did you say something na makapag-glorify sa Lord o hindi? This is not a congregational kind of praise. We gather as congregation and we're praising individually sa ating Panginoon. Yun po yung katotohanan. And if you're not praising God in your own way, simple lang sinasabi dyan. No? You are higher than God. Siguro yung natin mong pang Diyos na magpuri sa iyo bago mo purihin ang ating Panginoon. You can be surrounded by people who are praising God, but if you are aren't joining the exaltation, He will be robbed by the glory He deserves. Every time you come in church, lagi niyong tandaan, you step into that door ng ating church. Ano na kaagad yun? This is for God. Wala ka na. Pagpasok mo pa lang, lagay mo na sa puso at isipan mo, eto, ang lahat ng gagawin ko is for the glory of God. This is because we all praise Him uniquely with our own style and our own voice. Di ba? May maganda-ganda talaga ang boses. Meron namang medyo okay lang ang boses. At medyo namang minsan napapataas yung kilay mo pag kumakanta sila at para siya sabi mo pang banyo lang yung kanyang boses. But if you praise God that comes from your heart, ang tono mo ay tono ng hinahanap ng ating Panginoon. Our praise is built on our own unique um, circumstances. I have several people in my life who love me deeply. Each one expresses their own kind of love. Yung tatay ko, nanay ko, asawa ko, mga anak ko, kapatid ko, no? kaibigan, a church member, all loves me and they express different kinds of love. Ganun yung sa ating Panginoon. We may come as a church in this place, but we express different types of worship. Di ba? Yung iba dalawang kamay, yung iba apat, no? tatlong, ano, isang paa, isang kamay. No? Talagang obos lakas, todo-todo, may lumuluhod, may different kind of worship. But God, kailangan ng Lord ang worship and praise po natin. All of those people who are doing the same thing, they are showing me love, but if any of them stop loving me, there would be a hole in my heart. Ito rin yun. It's the same with God. The whole congregation come here with one purpose, to give Him praise. Tapos isa will stop. There is a hole already to the congregation. Kasi in-expect ng Lord that each one of us will give Him praise. Alam ng Lord na pagpasok mo rito, you have that in your heart and in your mind na gusto mong purihin ang ating Diyos. Same like with David. Yan ang kanyang ginawa. No? Hindi na secret dahil ating i-reveal in the book of Psalms, chapter 34. Sabi dyan, sa 34.1, I will bless the Lord at all times. David is king of Israel who had a great choir. Meron siya nito, kompleto. Meron siyang priest, no? Who can sing songs para sa Lord. Sila yung nung naka-front line. They know how to uh, play trumpets, no? Liars, every drums. Alam nila yun. But hindi sinabi ni David that my congregation would bless the Lord. Even though he has, meron siya. May capability siya na magpakanta ng magandang maganda kanyang choir. Pati hindi niya pinagkaloob sa kanyang choir. But he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. Ano unawaan niyo? Now, pag, pag may nag-strike yung trial sa buhay, simple lang yan eh. Pag inawitan mo ang Panginoon, kahit tagilapin mo yung problema, di mo na makikita. Why? Because what magnifies is your God. What magnifies is the solution of God. What ma magnifies ay yung kabutihan ng Diyos. So mas malaki ang Diyos mo kaysa problema because of that very praise na inatter mo sa ating Panginoon. But David didn't leave the praising up to them, nor did he want them to praise himself. Kahit yung mga kings, yung Prince of Desert ni Saul, often had him 
uh, do as a boy. David choose to walk the path of praise himself and praise God personally. Etong bagay na ito is usual. This is the very life ng young boy na si David. Ma maliit pa siya, meron na siyang heart, di ba? Inaawitan niya ang Panginoon. Habang yung mga troubles na dumarating, yung mga leon, bear, gustong lapayan ng kanyang mga alaga. And he gets strength from that. Hindi siya natatakot sa sitwasyon because he know exactly that when he praise God, ay nandoon ang presence ng Lord sa kanyang piling. And if God is with you, then who will be against you? No one. Diba? Hallelujah. Sabi niya dyan, Then Saul sent to Jess, saying, Please let David stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. And so it was, whenever the Spirit of God was upon Saul, pinaalihan siya ng, ng Espiritu, nagwawala din si Saul, no? gusto niya rin patayin si David, but every time David plays the harp, nawawala po yung Espiritu sa kanyang buhay. At alam mo, sanay na sanay siya. That even the time na makikita natin, natakot na takot si David, pumunta siya sa very source, praising God sa kanyang buhay. I will bless the Lord. Sabi dyan, notice also the word bless. Why is the most Christian go to church this day seeking to be blessed rather than to bless? Sabi niya, I will bless the Lord. Hindi niya sinabi, the Lord will bless me. Hello? Kaya maraming nawawala. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kulang sa pansin. Wrong motive. Dapat good motive. Ang motive mo is to come to church and give God the praise. You will bless God in the church. Not in other way around. Because if you will bless God, open hand yan ang Lord to bless. Hallelujah! Okay, let's give God a clap of praise. Kailangan maturuan. Maturuan ang congregation. No? You, you did not come here to be blessed. But you come here to bless God. Kasi if that is our very purpose sa ating buhay, sino ba naman ang magkakaroon pa ng sama ng loob? If you bless them, He will bless you. Lahat tayo nagbibless with each other. Saan ang, ang kaaway? Hindi siya makakapasok because we know for the fact that we are here in this place to bless God. Did you come today looking for a blessing or looking to be a blessing? We can certainly have both to be blessed and be a blessing. Only if we focus on blessing the Lord and blessing sa sa iba. Yan ang purpose natin kapatid. And I want you to be, yeah, just open up your mind and open up your heart. No? You come to this place to be a blessing to the people and to the Lord. Sabi dyan, sometimes Christian have become consumer-oriented. Yung laging take lang ng take, wala namang nilalabas. No, parang ganito. No? Parang nasa restaurant. No? Gusto mo umorder, syempre ikaw yung consumer, lahat ay pwedeng bigay sa'yo. Pero if you come to church, kailangan ng mentality is not the same anymore. You should give rather than expect someone to give you. Kailangan ikaw ang magpagamit na maging blessing sa iba. Dapat yung consumer type of mindset ay wala na sa atin, special. No, wala, wala special. Lahat tayo magtatrabaho para sa ating Panginoon. At yun ang hinahanap ng Lord, to give Him the praise. But we should have a contributor mentality realizing you never receive more than when you give. Choose to walk the path of praise personally. Sabi dyan, we should praise God, what? Verbally. Ano sinabi niya dyan? His praise shall continually be in my mouth. It's wrong. Ito yung sinabi ni David. Sabi ni David, ano daw? Shall wear sa mouth. So it means to say, there's something or some words that will come out from your mouth when you're praising God. Hindi mo pinipuri ang Panginoon if you just stand there gagaling naman itong mga singers na to. You're not praising no, God. Kailangan you praise God with your mouth. Because lagi nyo yung tandaan, mga kapatid. 
If you come here and you don't want to praise God, you are greater than God. Better to stay at home. Kasi pumunta ka rito to give Him the glory and honor. At ito yung nawawala. This is the missing link sa mga buhay ng mga Christian. Because sabi ko nga, technology plays part. Napaka dami mong alalahanin sa buhay. Ang iPad ko, ang iPhone ko, ang uh, S2 ko, ang S3 ko, S4 ko, ang S5 ko. Ang dami mong alalahanin that you find yourself what? No time to praise God. Sabi niya dyan, ever seen this? Na parang kamoy na Indian? No? Eto mga taong to, they don't sing. They don't clap. Even when asked, Amen? <laughs> Is that in my mouth? Hallelujah, Amen ba? Amen. Yes. There must be a word in praising God. Kung hindi, parang ganito, oh. gawang kahoy, pinili ko lang Indian kung kung maganda yung tsura nila. Hallelujah. Ask them why they don't participate and they will say, I praise God in my heart. Brother Jay, I praise God in my heart. So what you can do? Pero sinabi ni David, he shall praise God. Saan? Continually in his mouth. Pero alam kung babaliin mo to. Pasok, ang gusto mo. But the Bible teaches that it's truly in your heart. It will migrate to your mouth. The heart should affect the hands to do something. Totoo yun. If you are really deep in love sa ating Panginoon, you cannot hold back your hands. Hindi mo pwedeng itago ang katotohanan. You will raise your hands for the glory of God. Amen ba yun? Amen. Amen. We should praise God verbally. Sabi niya dyan sa Hebrews. Therefore, by Him, let us continually offer sacrifice of praise to God. That is what? The fruit of our lips given thanks to His name. Hindi na naman sinabing by heart. So you just can't keep quiet. No. You say your lips will continually give praise to God. Our wives. Ito, pinakamaganda. Yung ating mga asawa. Best example lagi. We love them, but here's where they are weird. No? They want to say yung word na yun, that we love them. How much more sa ating Panginoon? Kung ang ating ng mga asawa, naghahanap-hanap nun eh. No? Gaganon mo yung misis mo. Mahal. <laughs> Sasabihin niya sa iyo. Kailangan mo sabihin niya. Weird, na, na alam na nilang mahal na mahal mo sila, but they want to hear it. Ganon din sa Panginoon. God knows that we love Him, but say it. Anong kinahihiyan natin para purihin ang Diyos? Is there something bothering you and praising you? God lifting your hands? Meron pang parang nagbabada sa atin? No, na, nahirap na hirap tayo and sometimes parang bossing pang dating natin sa harapan ng ating Panginoon. Nakakaya sa Lord. Sa akin, okay lang kayo. Pero yung pinagbibigyan natin, Diyos ng Diyos, Hari ng mga Hari, ito tayo mahiyak, mga kapatid. That's how it is with our God. Let's choose to walk the path of praise. Personally and verbally. Sabi pa dyan, this is the secret that will transform your life sa kanya pong sinula. In good times and bad times, kailangan natin purihin ang ating Diyos. But I can't praise God when I'm down. Natural yun. Kailangan mo yung supernatural power of God to praise Him. In your own strength, you cannot. I cannot. But sa strength ng ating Lord, when you want to praise Him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, kaya-kaya. That the supernatural power ng ating Panginoon that will unleash to you that you can use to praise Him. Hallelujah. And no, sabi dyan, Di na yan natural, supernatural na galing sa ating Panginoon. Let them shout for joy. Ang kanya sabi, and be glad my, who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of His servant. Let them say it. Let them say the word that the Lord be magnified continually sa ating buhay. Whether in good times, in bad times, kailangan natin purihin ang Diyos na tuloy-tuloy. Hallelujah! 
Sabi pa dyan, 71 ang Psalms. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. Hindi siya nagbago, di ba? After nung katago-tago niya, sa king of God, sa kay Saul, when he became king ng Israel, nababasa mo ang kabutihan at ang mga sulat ni David, he even prophesied the coming of the Messiah. Grabbing revelation ng Panginoon sa kanya. Hallelujah. Even write this Psalms 34 that we need to praise God continually. Why should we praise God? We should praise, glorify, extol the Lord not only because He deserves it but because we need victory. Kung kailangan mo ng victory sa buhay mo kapatid, kailangan mo ng kakampu. And you need to praise God. Not unless no, equal ka sa God. Then you don't need God. Pwede ka magpatigas, matigasa. Siguro. And the path of praise leads us to bigger and better things than normal life can bring. We need victory. And walking in victory occurs on the path of praise. Marriage mo, no, my healing, victory, no, finances, health, work, so spiritual life natin, kailangan natin. And we need to praise God. And I praise God for the strength. No? Ngayon ko tatanungin niyo ako, sobra sakit ang aking ulo. But, because of our good God, that He sustained me. And I can praise Him right now, I'm praising God because I'm saying to you his very word. Hallelujah. Magagawa lang natin yan, mga supernatural na bagay, because of him and not because of us. Sabi dyan, your faith will be bolstered. No? Uphold. Mababakapan ang iyong pananampalataya. Sabi niya dyan, sa, sa, sa three, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Takot na takot na siya. Ano ginawa niya? He exalt God by saying, I magnify you. Kasi kung ang problema ang minagnify ni David, baka lalo siyang matakot sa king na yun. But he said verbally, I will magnify God. Kailangan mong palakihin ang Diyos sa aking buhay sa pamagitan ng aking pagpupuri sa Kanya. So that God will become big at ang problema ko will become small. Hallelujah. Kaya sinabi niya dyan, I will magnify, oh, the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. As you look at your problems, they look like giants to you, like a river you can cross. It's so big. But when you magnify God, it puts all in perspective. Sabi niya dyan, look how big this problem is compared to me. But rather, look how small this problem is compared to God. That's why magnify. Magnify the Lord. Wag, wag mong ano, wag mong hayaan ang sarili natin. Hindi siya sanay magpuri sa Lord. You have no place in heaven. Dahil ang mga tao doon ay nagpupuri. Day and night, they will worship God. They will praise God. Ang mga nandoon ay mga pusong pinupuri ang Diyos. Kung dito sa lupang ito, hindi tayo marunong magpuri. Ah, saan mong pupuri ka roon? I don't think so. I don't get the point. Dito palang praktisado ka na magpuri sa Lord. Para pagdating mo ron, sanay ka. Hallelujah. Naintindihan niyo ba yun? Hallelujah. Si Joshua at si Caleb, memoryado natin ito, abisado natin ito, verse to verse, di ba? They give good reports. They praise God in front of the Israelites' people. If the Lord's delight in us, then He will bring us into this land and give it to us. They praise God that God can do it. Hindi sila natakot. That's why they conquer the land. Praise will bolster, bolster and energize your faith. It's not really great faith ng ating kailangan. Tandaan nyo to. It is not really great faith that we need. We just need a little faith at all. Kasi sabi naman ng Lord eh, ni Jesus, all you have to do is to have a mustard seed. Hindi niya sinabi niyo, you should have a giant faith. Anak, meron ka lang makatiting na pananampalataya. Ibalik niya sa akin ako bahala. Because I have everything in my hands. 
Yun yung ibig sabihin dyan ng Diyos eh. We don't need supernatural power na, na talagang every time na nagpipray tayo, no, bumabago ng mga patay. Yun ang inaantay natin because we want a great faith. Hallelujah doon sa mga buhay na pinagsabihan mo ng salita ng ating Panginoon. Small seed lang binitawan mo. But they came to know the Lord as the Lord and personal Savior. Hallelujah. It's not great faith that we need. It's faith in a great God who does the work for us. Yun yung ating kailangan, mga kapatid. So tiny faith. Ang iyan ang makakapagpapatuloy sa atin sa ating buhay. Let us look at the prayer of Jesus. No, Matthew 6, ano sabi niya dyan? In this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed, the most highest praise. Hallowed, wala na pong hihigit dyan. The Lord Jesus told His disciples that this is how you should pray. You should magnify. Hallowed is His name. Holy, great, is His name. And that is praise. Hallelujah. Tinapos niya saan? For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Pag binasa mo si Nehemiah, magkapareho ito. Bago sila mag-umpisa ng, ng pananalangin, they always praise God. Parang ano lang yan eh. Parang uh, yun sa buhay sa Pilipinas, harana. Di ba? Dati uso yan. Ang bakya mo, nenes. Neneng ang bakya mo. Bago kasagutin ng babae. Gusto ng Lord yung marinig sa atin that we always praise Him. All the more, we will exert that effort para mag-glorify natin ang God. Kasi kahit ang Panginoon, sabi niya, umpisa niyo yung panalangin with praising God. He end you with praising God. Dahil ang gitna nito, ano sabi dyan? And, ano, ano sabi dyan? Take note. Lahat ng ating mga inihingi. Eh. Hallelujah. Ang dami na natin sinabi, give us this day our daily bread and forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us, Lord, from ever. Atin na yun eh. But all he needs is just praise him. At pag nag-end ka, praise God. Sa gitna atin lahat yun, wala nang hindi ng Panginoon. Lahat yun atin eh. Di ba ganun tayo pag nanalangin? Ba't tinuruan tayo ng Panginoon? This is a revelation from God. That you praise God bago ka humingi. And you end with praising God as well. Your fear will be banished. Mawawala daw. I sought the Lord and He feared me and delivered me from all my fears. Na-release ba si David? Na-release. Dumating ang kanyang family together with 400 soldiers. At magtayo na siya ng kanyang army after praising God, after praying to God. May rescue ang Diyos. Kaya niya sinabi, no more fear. The Lord provides. Hallelujah! Just praising God sa ating pong mga sitwasyon ngayon. And God is faithful. He fulfilled ang kanyang pangako sa atin. Often people are looking for help in their fear. Usually, saan sila pumunta sa bookstore? Ano yung hinahanap nila? Yung mga libro about fear. Tulad niyan, fearless living, fear of dreaming, fear itself, fear of humiliation, fear and courage, fear of falling, fear of crying, fear no evil. And sometimes, makikita mo na mga kristyano din na nagpa-browse niyan. Ano ba content ng mga fear na ito? Sinabi na ni David eh. Just come to God and He will deliver you from all fear. You don't need that book. Hallelujah. Para lang yun sa mga hindi kilala ng ating Panginoon. Walang word of God dyan eh. Puro kaalaman ng taong nilalagay dyan. Na sila nga rin eh. Hindi mapagtagumpayan yung ganong klaseng fear sa kanilang buhay. Where all, where is all fear based? Saan naka-based yan? Sa sarili. Nakuha ko ito, totoo. <clears throat> The foundation of fear is self-centeredness. Pag ang nakafocus ay ikaw, kapatid, maraming fear dyan. Why? Because we are limited. Wala tayong capacity na para i-divert ang situation to good situation. Kailangan natin ang power of God. 
And once na self-centered ka na, ikaw ang lalakad, dyan ang takot. Dahil sa dulo ng ating paglakad, pag walang tulong ng Panginoon, makikita mo, there's always failures. May nakuha ako. We live in egocentric society. No? Na ito point out sa aking sarili ako. Ako. Yan, yan, yan ang kalimitan, di ba? We are all centered on our own universe and everyone just revolves around us. May papakita ako sa'yo. 1948, naglabas po sila ng magazine. Sabi dyan, sabi niya 50 years ago, sabi niya ng magazine is life magazine. You just try to see, maniwala kayo sa akin o hindi, but pinapakita ko lang sa inyo how Satan manipulated the world. Naglabay sila ng life. This is all about life na kabuuan. Then after that, naglabas sila ng people. After that, naglabas sila ng us. Us Weekly Magazine. After that, naglabas sila ng Self Magazine. Ngayon, naglabas sila ng Me Magazine. It's all about me. Good health. No? Maganda yun. Makeup. Ano pa? Um, facials. Yung mga tinatawag natin na liposuction. No? Lahat nandun na. It's all for you. You don't need God actually. But you need ano lang. Mga gyms. Okay ka na. You need ano? New York. Beautiful ka na. It's all about you. Kasi gusto mong i-focus ng demonyo sa you. You don't need God. It's all about you. Hindi ko lang alam kung ah, pag uh, nakakabasa kayo ng mga magazine, nakaka-recall kayo kung ano nangyayari sa mundo. Hallelujah! Self-centeredness ang tao. Mahilig ako. Well, fear is the result of an over-occupation with self. Sabi sa Luke 9, For whoever desires to save his life, will lose it. But whosoever loses his life, for my sake, for the sake of Jesus Christ, you will save it. Ganun lang yun. Nakakaranas tayo ng pagsubo dahil gusto ng Lord, pangawakan natin ang salita. God will not bring you to failures, mga kapatid. Proven and tested na yan ang Panginoon. God is really good. Focus on self leads to self-destruction. But your eyes on the Lord and fears will falter. Kaya magnify, exalt the name of the Lord. Walk the path of grace and your faith will be bolstered. Your fear will be banished. Last, your foe will be beaten. Sino ba kaaway mo? Wala kang kaaway ng physical, right? Because this is against principalities, evil power of darkness. Yun yung ating kaaway. Wala tayong kaaway na tao. Sabi dyan, this poor man cried out. The Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Testimony po to ni Brother David. Nasabi niya, he cried out lang sa Panginoon. And he called himself a poor man. But sabi niya dyan, save him out of his trouble. Anong ginawa? The angels of the Lord in camps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Totoo yun. And even when you worship alone sa kwarto, just magnify that there are angels. Just like the song na worship the Lord, di ba? We, we are standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Jesus now. Hallelujah. When you sing praise to God, the angels of the Lord are around you. And even the very presence of God is with you. Kaya pag kumaawit ka, it's not just singing. Tatlo lang kami sa Bible study. So what? Ang sabi na pumunta kayo noon to give praise to God. And whenever you gather together, the very presence of God is in your midst. It's not all about numbers, mga kapatid. It's all about how we magnify God. Hallelujah. Okay, huwag kayong mag- Konti lang kami. No? Praise God. Kasi once na-revive ang church, na-revive ang Bible study, God will send more souls to you. Hanggat hindi ready ang church, hindi nagpapadala ang Lord ng marami. Hallelujah. Kailangan para pareho ng lipat. Kailangan para pareho tayo ng mindset. Para tayo makalipat. 
When God's people praise Him, the enemy is confused. Praise infuses the energy of God and confuses the enemies of God. Pag nagpupuri ka na sa ganda ng boses mo, hallelujah. No, pakita mo yan, ubus na yung gulak sa guardian. No? Napasak na lang sa tenga ni, ni Tanin. Ay, ako na ang boses na yan. Lalo na pag nagpupuri siya. Ilang beses ko na sabihin sa kanya, huwag niya itaas ang kamay niya, taas pa rin siya ng taas ng kamay. Hallelujah. Because you are magnifying God. Natin. Si Jehoshaphat, alam na alam din natin itong kwento na ito. Diba? He prayed and sought the Lord, decided how to win. Combined forces versus the Judea, no? At mga taga-Juda. Sabi dyan, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness. And they went out before the army saying, Praise the Lord! For His mercy endures forever. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, Mount Seir, who had come against Judah. And they were defeated. Hallelujah. I remember yung patutuo ni Benny Hinn. No, no, ginagamit pa siya ng Panginoon talaga. Todo-todo. No, nasa taas siya ng building. <clears throat> No, nata- nasa taas siya ng building actually nasa football field tapos nandun siya sa loob nakita niya in the spirit si Satan sabi ni Satan sa kanya postpone your evangelism I can give you everything you want I can give you cars I can give you wealth but don't do it nakita niya ro sa likod ni Satan ang ating Panginoon yung laylaya na kagano parang sinasabi ako bahala so, doon na siya nag in the name of Jesus. Yes, the presence of the Lord is with us. Whenever we sing praises to God, whenever we sing praises sa ating Panginoon, rest assured mga kapatid, that His very presence is always with you. Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos. Thank you, Jesus. Conclusion po natin, sabi dyan. The rest of the chapter is all about additional blessing God pours out when He prays Him. The attitude, gratitude, is a secret weapon in gaining the favor of God. We are made in God's image, and like any parent, he is moved by the appreciation, love, and praise of his children. But when we act spoiled, ungrateful, negative, nasty, we ourselves what? Hinder the blessings of God. May nakalaan yan eh. It was promised. Kaya lang, natidelay. Bakit? Kasi minsan hindi maintindihan ng Lord ang nangyayari sa iyo. Gusto lang ng Panginoon, huksan natin ang ating bibi, just give Him the praise. We are created to give God the pleasure and we will be rewarded with, if they obey and serve Him, they shall spend their days in what? Prosperity and their years in pleasure. Mga kapatid, ang prosperity, hindi lang yung own something, but hindi ka nagkukulang in everything. Hallelujah! And that gives you pleasure. And when you acknowledge that all of this given ng ating Panginoon, nakikita mo, God also has a pleasure sa iyo sa iyong buhay. Sa Psalm, sabi niya, You will show me the path of life. And what is the path of life? To walk in the way of praise. In your presence is the fullness of joy. When you walk side by side sa ating Panginoon, giving Him praise, ang sabi niya, that will be the fullness of joy. At your right hand, pag sinabing right hand, blessing niya. Hallelujah. When God is with you, makikita mo na yung right hand ng ating Panginoon. Ready to unleash the blessing to you. Hallelujah. Sarap ba yun? Hallelujah. Let's give God a clap offering tonight. Let us all stand and give Him praise. Tayo po tayong lahat, kumihin natin ng Diyos.